Allerton is a conference that has been held for a long time in the University of Illinois in Allerton Park. Allerton Conference is a prominent conference in communication, information theory, control, and uh, traditionally even circuits were part of Allerton. And it brings prominent researchers in the fields from various parts of the country. I come every year, I think I must have missed maybe one year. It's a wonderful conference and it's a rendezvous point uh, both for presenting results and being able to uh, collaborate. I actually was invited to give the talk, but then uh, Manushi is graduating, so it's a good opportunity for her to present her work. My name is Manush Alizadeh. I'm a PhD student of electrical engineering at UC Davis. My work is on communication control aspects of energy systems, and that's what I'm presenting here at this conference today. It's a great opportunity to go to a conference. You meet a lot of people, you interact with um, a lot of new people, you make connections, and uh, you get feedback on your work. What my work does is trying to use the amount of electricity actively to incorporate renewables in the power grid, like solar and wind in the power system. Most of these systems are employing increasingly networks and information systems to be more efficient in order to solve this problem of balancing demand and supply and allow more solar, more wind power. Otherwise, we're pretty much stuck using coal, gas, fossil fuel. One of the applications that is quite uh, popular right now is using electric vehicles as an active resource to help um, use electricity at the time that is generated by uncontrollable resources like wind and solar. Hi, my name is uh, Lillian Ratliff. I'm a graduate student at the University of uh, California in Berkeley and I work on game theory mostly. And what I'm presenting here this, uh, at this year's Allerton is a paper on the characterization and computation of local Nash equilibria in continuous games. Hopefully the, these analytical and computational advancements that we present in the paper, actually we can apply those to be able to figure out uh, how to make these cyber physical systems more secure and privacy preserving. Hi, my name is Girija. I am a graduate student at the University of California, Berkeley. A lot of my research is at the intersection of information theory and control theory. I work on some decentralized control problems. I'm also interested in broader applications of these things to, say, social economic systems. I've done some work on trying to understand crowdsourcing using game theoretic models. The talk here focused on actually work that's at the intersection of communications and control theory. What interests me most about this is the philosophical implications of these kind of results, trying to understand the nature of information. And one of the interesting implications of the result that we have, we show that you cannot actually estimate a system over a non-coherent channel, but with an appropriate control signal, you can impact the state in a way such that you can observe it and you can control it. And it's just suggesting that information for communication is somehow is of a different nature than information for controls. And this is kind of like a cute little example that teases these two things apart. My name is Minyan Liu. I am a professor in electrical and computer engineering at the uh, University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. I work in wireless networks. Uh, we look at issues like performance analysis, resource allocation, energy efficiency, um, incentive mechanisms, uh, among others. I so have one student who presented sort of a dynamic interaction between uh, a radio who's switching channels to trying to evade an adaptive jammer. And I have another student who's presenting tomorrow. He's going to be talking about how to learn within a group. It's a combination of first hand learning and second hand learning. So you learn from direct experience, but you also learn, try to learn from what others say, uh, others' reported experience, and how you consolidate the two to s make your, your learning process faster. I'm Himan Chutyagi. And I'm here to do what everyone else is doing, chat and meet friends. No, present paper. <laughs> well, I presented a paper called Secret Key Capacity over a Multiple Access Channel with Public Feedback. You observe a cute property of interactive communication and then you use it to show what's the best you can do in generating secret keys. So secret key is basically the shared bits which you can use to, let's say, log into your account, bank account or to communicate securely. No, no, actually it's my first time. 
Yeah, it was really nice. I'm really happy to be here. I am a postdoc at the University of Maryland, working with uh, Alexander Barg, and I just uh, presented the paper about locally recoverable codes. So we work on storage for uh, big data. So my name is Vasuki. I am a grad student at UC Berkeley. My paper is about efficient uh, file synchronization protocols. Something like uh, Dropbox or GitHub would really benefit from our uh, uh, file synchronization. What we are proposing is to make it as great and optimal as possible. Yeah, I'm a student member. Yes, I'm a student member of ITRI. I am a fellow of the ITRI actually, so I was student member, then senior member, then fellow. I think it's great to be a woman in electrical engineering. You get to do things that you love. I think what women can bring to the table is a different view on, you know, what the impact for society is. Like, I think sometimes we can be more sensitive to those things and empathetic. This is my fifth time. Uh, what I like about this, the other the house is uh, kind of cool and the park here. Good selection of nice papers and results and nice invited sessions as uh, well. It gives an excellent chance to the young people, the graduate students, oftentimes it's their first conference and they get a chance to talk to all these people, they have read their papers, you know, it's their idols, they can interact with them and those make big differences, right, in your career when you talk to someone that you've always looked up to them and maybe you end up playing a game of backgammon with them or just hang out with them socially. It's just a fantastic environment and of course it's a gorgeous setting with the park, you take a walk and discuss research. So there are sort of two main trends. Uh, humans are being increasingly connected, uh, and uh, so the, the need of connecting further humans is not saturating, but it's changing. However, the big field where a lot of people are moving in is to make more intelligent infrastructures. And right now, a lot of the controls and communications that happen in infrastructures are not designed, are sort of using off-the-shelf network technology that is not designed or optimized for those applications. I think the broader systems understanding that we have here in information theory and controls is something that we can use to better implement these technologies and you know make things count.